Okay guys, uh, Ryan here. I'm going to actually show you guys how to uh, replace your stock bearings on the Abbott HXW uh, 52 Raptors. You can see the model number here. Uh, we're going to be replacing them with the ceramic uh, Boca bearings. Um, definitely a great upgrade for these reels. Um, I'm excited, uh, so hopefully you know this really helps um, as far as you know changing up the game for your reels as well. So here we go. So first we need to remove the drag lever. So we're going to go ahead and take this off. There's a spring in here. Just go ahead and keep that all together. Uh, lever comes off as well. There's a ball bearing that sits in here. You don't want to lose that. So go ahead and remove that. Ball bearing right here. So make sure you do not lose that. Very important. It's going to sit right on inside that spring right here when we put it back together. Okay, so uh, first off we need to remove the little drag plate here to take these screws off. I'm using the Allen wrench that was provided with the reel. Take that off. Remember these space washers go underneath like this. Oops. We're going to sit with these. I like to keep these together mostly. Uh, just make it easier when I'm putting it back together. Uh, you can pretty much do whatever you want. So I'm going to set that there. Now we need to remove the four Allen wrench screws that hold the side plate on with the handle. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the side plate. Okay, that's what it looks like inside. The small pinion gear decided to stay in the bearing, that's fine. We can just remove that and put it right back on here. So, I guess the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get into the handle and get those bearings out before we go into the spool. So, take these off. Sometimes this plate can be a little tricky to get off. Just got to get something underneath it. This one came off pretty easy. Uh, small crescent wrench will remove your gear shift, no problem. Uh, this should never be too tight anyways, so it's not going to harm it that I crack it loose with a crescent wrench. So that to the side. Remove the handle. Have a washer. It's got a lip on the bottom. That side always goes down in case you accidentally pop this off and it falls down. Remember the lip is face down. And there's one that's stuck in here. I'm just going to leave it in there. It pops out really easy. Uh, so just for all intents and purposes, I'm just going to leave it uh, just because I don't want this video to be too long. So now once we have the handle off, you can see one of the bearings right here. Uh, I'm going to show you the easiest way to get all the bearings out, which is obviously we want to take the handle off first. Uh, now we're going to remove the dog. out. Now one of the things uh, I see a lot of people struggle with is this S wire right here. All you want to do is just put your finger on it, 
pull it straight, it comes right, um, right out from underneath the C-clip right there. And you can just remove it by hand and just set it aside. Okay, so now I'm going to pop the gears out. Just like that. Now I'm going to take this out right here and I'm going to push this bearing out from here as so. Okay, so now I do want to replace that bearing. Um, and that one is actually the number 50 uh, shaft bearing. Uh, so I'm going to grab my number 50 shaft bearing replacement here from the Boca bearing kit. There we go. Okay, get my grease ready. All right. Now, one of the hardest ones to actually get out usually is this one right here. Um, if it doesn't pop out really easy by pulling it out, uh, one of the things I recommend to do is to just take a lighter and lightly heat up um, this side right here, but don't do it too much to where you strip the anodizing off. Uh, just make it to where it expands the metal. You can pound it, bearing comes right out. So let's see how well this one comes out. Okay, not too bad, came out. So let's grab our new end housing bearing from Boca Bearings here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is put a little bit of grease inside where it goes, right in here. No big deal. Now I'm just going to pop that right back in. Sometimes these things are a little finicky, deciding which way they want to go in the best. There we go, presses right in. So you can hear it pop. Okay, so now I want to put the new uh, shaft bearing in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, put a little bit of grease on it. right on the end, pop it right in place, as so, here's the old one, okay, now we have another shaft bearing right here, I'm going to remove the sleeve, take the bearing out, and grab the number 55 uh, shaft bearing, set the old one to the side there, put a little bit of grease on this one as well, some grease on the shaft. Now if at any point I am going too fast in this video, just go ahead and pause the video and uh, you know kind of backtrack if you need to. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in place. This bearing sometimes likes to pop out when you're putting this one back in, which is fine. Just push it right back in, press it right in place. There we go. So now we got three of the bearings taken care of. We're going to put the S wire back on. Notice the C clip right here. I'm going to keep that straight right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab the dog and put it there. Oops, straighten this S bearing back out. Sometimes you got to use tools, uh, sometimes you can get away with it. Okay, we want to make sure the S wire is back underneath that C clip just like that. So I'm going to try and line this S wire up the best I can for the dog. I'm going to hold that just like that with my finger. Now watch the direction of the dog. It always has to be this direction facing down like that. So just got to get, the, get it right in the hole. There, boom, done. Okay, put the plate back on.
her to go play down. Now with these, we do not ever want to tighten these too hard. We're doing steel on aluminum, so we do not want that. Um, I am going to put a little bit of oil in here. I didn't re-grease the gears, guys, just because they are freshly greased. This reel is just serviced. I'm going to put some oil here. Rub this around with my finger. Just like that. Let's keep everything nice and lubricated. Um, as so, this reel gets serviced uh, regularly, so I don't use a ton of grease. Um, and, uh, you know, for those of you that that don't service your reel so much, you can use a little bit more grease. Just make sure you put it in the right places. You don't want to hang anything up. Do not put a lot on the dog because you'll always get that. It'll always stick open, and you don't want that. You want it to actually work. So let's go ahead and put the handle back together. And remember, as I said, lip facing down. Just like that. Let's get the gear shift back in. Start it by hand. Finish it up with the crescent wrench. Okay. So we're going to finish up with the crescent wrench here. We don't want to tighten it too much. Just about right, right there. We're going to put this plate back on with the shifter. And so, just like that, it'll hold itself right in place. Then we're going to put the cover back on, screw it down, make sure everything's working correctly. Okay. Everything looks good. It's spinning nice. Feels good. Ceramic bearings feel great inside already. Okay. Holding the gears with this finger right here to make sure it shifts correctly. Okay. Perfect. All right. Now, let's move on to the spool. So, now the first thing we need to do is actually take the lug off um, if we want to get the spool out. So, let's go ahead and do that. Set that off to the side. Okay, I'm going to remove the pinion gear, small pinion gear, the big pinion gear, and now the um, outer drag washer, outer drag plate. Now you can see there is a bearing in there. Uh, that is one of the bearings we want to get out. So I'm going to go ahead and push that out from back here. Push this right out. Okay, now this is the number 24. Uh, um, outer brake bearing. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that with one of the Boca bearing ceramics. Hands are a little slippery from the grease. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put some grease in here. Okay, so and pop that bearing in there, just like that. Done. Okay. Now let's get to the other bearings. Got to take the spring out. Got to take the drag plate out. Okay, the inner drag washer. All right, now we're going to see a bearing right here. Now what I'm going to do is hold the spool in with my finger like this and get that bearing out and as it comes out there's gonna be some thrust washers that are right there so we're gonna take this one out and this is actually the number 20 uh, inner brake disc bearing so we're gonna go ahead and switch that out for the Boca bearing looks like that 
Okay. Going to put a little bit of grease in here for the bearing. Not too much. Doesn't really need it. Just going to hold it there. And then if you want, you can actually set the thrust washers back on there so you know how they go. Okay, now we're going to get the spool out. Just like that. Okay, you're going to push the shaft down this way. Just pull that out. Make sure you keep all of this together, guys. Um, this is really going to be a pain in the butt if you have all these come out. So just keep it all together. Um, I use the you know little sleeve right here to hold it down. Just keep it together. Okay, now we need to get um, this spool bearing out here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull this one out. As so. Okay, and this is the number 18 spool bearing. So sleeve comes out as well. Let's take that with the shaft. Okay. Now what you could do is take the shaft to get this other bearing out here. And just press it out. Let's go ahead and move these three bearings off to the side. We don't need these now. Okay, so first off, what we're going to do is we're going to put the number 13 uh, spool bearing in. Okay, I'm just going to use a little bit of grease on this one. So the other one is just on the outside. Um, you'll see why I do that. We're going to put number 13 on this side here. Okay, it's going to go in just like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and drop the uh, sleeve back in as so. Now what I'm going to do is actually oil the shaft, not grease it. Um, just to keep performance up, grease will slow it down. So I'm going to use oil. And put this right back in here like that. Okay, sleeve came out, so I'm just going to put that back in, like that, and then press it down, and the bearing will go right in place. Okay, so now we want to take the number 18 spool bearing, we're going to put this in, As so, oops, put a little bit of grease on this bad boy. I'm going to use my pliers here, just push it down in place. Now, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of grease on here, just like that, so when it goes back into the side plate. Now, what I'm going to do also is take the side plate here. Um, it is fairly clean, um, but just so you know what to do, put a little bit of oil in here, just rub it around. I like to use oil in here, not grease, um, just because the grease will slow the spool down. Uh, so then, just going to put everything back in. It goes right into place, as so. Washers, bearing, all that right here. Just go like that. There we go. Put that on. Spring. drag plate, big pinion gear, small pinion gear, Gonna put some grease on the pinion gears and the anti-reverse so everything works correctly when it goes back on. Doesn't need to be too much grease guys, no reason for it. go. Okay, make sure everything is seated right. 
like to try and line it up the best I can before I decide to put the handle back on. Okay. Now what we're going to do is put the plug back on. Okay, so here we go. We're just putting the lug back on. Make this easy for everything. Start that by hand. snug, that's all you need. You don't need it to be tight. Once again, it's steel on aluminum. Okay, and now we're going to put the shaft back through here, connect this all together. And you just have to kind of spin the handle until it all seeds up, right? And that clunk is actually a good sound that we want to hear. It means everything went together properly. So it's not a bad sound when you hear that when you're putting it all back together. Just like that. So it feels good. So what I like to do is actually cross-hatch these, so I'll put this one in, just snug it, not even tight yet. It'll just enough to hold it in place, go complete opposite, so that everything tightens down evenly. Spin that. Okay. And put these back in as so. Just double check all these, make sure they're where I want them. Okay, so now what you want to do is actually put some grease here, like that. You can use your finger, you can use a brush, whatever you want to use. It works, whatever works for you. So now, I'm going to take these space washers, we're just going to put them there. The grease will help hold them in place. Um, also prevents corrosion and stuff from getting in there, so kind of it's a good thing to have. So it's going to go ahead and set the drag plate there. Okay, start these by hand a little bit, keep them in place. Tighten these down. Now we don't want to go too tight just because there is plastic on top and we don't want to crush that plastic. So just snug. Okay, now here's the trick for the bearing well, I talked about earlier. So we're just going to put a little bit of grease on the first hole there, the drag plate, like so. Then we're going to take the ball bearing. And set that on there. Going to take the drag lever, put it right back onto the cam, just like that. Okay, I'm going to spin this up here, get this down right in its place, like that. Okay, now we're going to push the drag lever back into free spool. Put this back on. It's all working. Perfect. 
Okay, now definitely want to check this out right here, like this. That free spool is amazing with those bearings. You usually don't see a free spool like that, and that's just barely moving it. This is phenomenal. Alright guys, well, thanks for watching. Um, hope this was really educational for you, and hopefully it works out. Thank you.